San Francisco week right now, we went to the heart of the city to the celebrated Intercontinental Mark Hopkins Hotel. Now, for locals and visitors alike, the top of the mark is a must for its panoramic views, cocktails, and traditions for troops. Living 808 is in the heart of San Francisco at the iconic Intercontinental Mark Hopkins. What a beautiful hotel. Thank you so much for having our crew out. Well, thank you and welcome. Thank you. This is a gorgeous property from the architecture to the interior. What makes this property so unique? I think, in fact, it is that the history that we have. We, we, we have a rich history. We've been, we've been here for, not, for 92 years, built by one of the railroad barons, uh, Mark Hopkins himself. Uh, back in the early 1900s, and we're up top Knob Hill, which is pretty much the epicenter of San Francisco. And the views, the walk, fantastic around here. Dynamite, you know, I mean, the views really are amazing. Uh, for many of our rooms, in fact, even from our lowest rooms on the second and third floor, because we're on a hill, they're actually equivalent of nine stories high. So a lot of our guests compliment that. They're like, well, I had no idea on the third floor I'd be 12 stories high. And sweeping views of the Bay Area. And you have quite a few suites. We actually have just under 400 rooms total and over 33 are suites, and they're all very individual. Uh, some of them are very elegant, like our presidential suite, you know, with walnut uh, walls. Some are terrace suites with outdoor terraces. So there's a real nice variety, again, taking full advantage of the location of the hotel. But the, we actually have a museum here. The, the, there's such a history, and we found so many beautiful artifacts from the last 92 years of our history that we decided to create a mini museum that I'd love to show you later on that really showcases many of the famous bands that used to play here. We used to have dinner dances in the old days in our Peacock Court ballroom, all the way to the original silver tea sets that we used to have for afternoon tea. It really is lovely. And we can't leave out food and beverage. You have something very special here. <laughs> yes, we do. We, we have our rooftop lounge that's called Top of the Mark. It's at the top of the building, of course, and it's one of only three locations that has a view of the Golden Gate Bridge from a Sky Lounge. So we're very excited about that. I think it's time to go check out Top of the Mark. Can we go? Let's go. All right. All right. I should have figured we'd find you up here. Of course. This is my good friend, yeah, Mullins, the food Welcome and beverage director. How are you? I'm great. Yeah. Going to be better soon. And I've been learning all about the history from the general manager, Michael Pace. Well, I've been learning a lot about the drinks up here at the top of the mark from Yap. Yap, could you tell them uh, some of the favorite drinks up here, some of the, the iconic drinks you guys oh, have? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So actually, every month we change out, changing out the drink quite frequently. Um, so this month we have a steel bag. Um, it's kind of like a bubbly old-fashioned. It's really good. I would love to make it for you if that's okay. Please, please, yeah? please. Yes. Absolutely. Let's get I thought you it. never asked. <laughs> A lot of history having to do with the Top of the Mark and World War II. Can you fill in all of our viewers? Yeah, absolutely. So Top of the Mark actually opened after the hotel opened. So it actually happened after Prohibition. We opened on May 11th, 1939. Uh, we became very popular, in fact, during the war when many of the servicemen who were coming through the Bay Area and heading out to war would come to Top of the Mark and dine and dance and have their drinks over here. I love the fact that you guys have some bottles in the front that signify some of the bottles that they were drinking. Can you tell me a little bit about that? What would happen was, unfortunately, the day that they were leaving, there'd be a lot of sadness. Uh, the spouse of their wives would actually come back top of the mark, would let them in in the morning, and they'd stand here, what is now called the Weeper's Corner, and they would bid farewell to their partners or their spouses as they, as they shipped out under the Golden Gate Bridge. So we have these amazing views. Uh, and that's how the story of the Weeper's Corner started. That actually led to something else called the Squadron Bottles. So what happened there was the servicemen would come to this bar actually and have a drink. And if they were leaving and hadn't finished their bottle, they would say to the bartender, I'm going to leave this bottle with you. Does anybody from my squadron give them a drink on me? And the only thing they need to do is, if they're the last person to have a drink, 
buy a new, a new bottle, give it to the next man. Pay it forward. Yeah, pay it forward. Yeah, making some of the best drinks around. <laughs> Absolutely, enjoy. So here we got a um, single barrel bourbon uh, that we got bottled just for the top of the mark, uh, through Dickel. Uh, got a little bit of uh, orange liqueur, um, Peugeot bitters, aromatic bitters, and a little bit of sparkling wine, which makes it like a little bit bubbly. Enjoy. And there's a special benefit for the drink too. There is. So when we, we, we were thinking about how to celebrate our 80th anniversary, we thought it would be respectful to have a nod of appreciation to our veterans. So we created this program of various cocktails that we change out throughout the year, and we donate a dollar from every cocktail that we sell back to veterans' organizations, such as Pets for Vets or Souls to Plowshares. Uh, and we expect to raise about $20,000 this year alone. Well, top of the mark. I think we should drink a few then if it's going to a good <laughs> I cause. Think we should. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Michael and Yap, for having us out here to Top of the Mark and Absolutely. Mark Hopkins. Thank you and cheers. 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 Thanks, Yap. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, Yap. An amazing time. And the view, the panoramic view there, so much history. Look at that. You look out, you see the whole city, you see the bay, you see the Golden Gate Bridge, you see the Bay Bridge from the other side, and so many uh, husbands and wives, military yeah. said their goodbyes there, and they did that for the troops. So there's a lot of tradition, and this is the spot for locals. I had a little personal connection there. This is where my dad took my mom on their first date. Wow. Yes. Very so. cool. He, he made a good impression, apparently. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed it. For, for me personally, I really enjoyed it because I used to spend hours talking to my grandfather about mm. World War II right. and the war and the history there at the hotel with sailors leaving bottles for their friends when they come back. Just an amazing, an amazing uh, historic place. And it is gorgeous. It certainly is. And you can read some of those letters. It'll really touch you when you go there. So thank you so much to the Intercontinental Mark Hopkins for mm -hmm. having us out and, and teaching us history that I didn't know even growing up around there. So. Good stuff. Thank you again. <laughs> yeah.